Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Zyplo here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys this really quick and easy experience farm. Uh, this is so you can get XP very fast and level up your character in Diablo very, very fast. It's probably a bug, so it might get patched soon, so be aware of that. But if you do watch this video quickly, take advantage of this now. Um, everyone's pretty much doing it. The reason why is because you pretty much get around 80,000 XP. Uh, and it also, keep in mind, it depends on your world, world tier. Right now, I'm on world tier 3, as you can see. I have world tier 4 unlocked. I'm just not you know, doing it right now because I'm only level 60 and it's recommended at level 70 or around level 70. So maybe when I get to like 65, I'll start doing it so I can get even more XP. But as of right now in World Tier 3, you get around 80,000 um, XP per run. Uh, and it's literally each run takes probably like three minutes, like honestly. So and you can keep on repeating this and repeating this and repeating this. So you'll just keep on getting, you know, consistent XP and it could be really it could be like a lot but that's if you're doing it solo it's eighty thousand around if you're doing it solo and it could be up to like a hundred thousand plus if you're doing it with four people and just consistently resetting the dungeon and also if you you can use these consumables right here that give you extra xp um i wouldn't use these consumables if you're solo but if you're in a squad definitely use these consumables whenever you're doing it uh, but basically how it works is it, you go to this dungeon. It's called Moggins Works. Uh, it's right here on the map. It's on the bottom part of the map. It's called Moggins Works. And basically you just go inside the dungeon. The reason why it's so good is because basically there's uh, this huge mob of elites that just randomly like bunch up together in, in, a, in a little room. Some dungeons can have up to two of these um, mobs. So you can get like double XP, double the XP. So like each mob is basically around 80,000. And I'm just going based off of, you know, the solo XP. Like if you were to do the solo, you would get like 80,000 per. If you were to do it in a squad, you would basically get like, you know, pretty much 20% more, which is around 100,000 per. But as you can see right here, I just made it to the room. So you can see how fast it is. You just literally enter the dungeon. You just pretty much skip everything. And then you just start clearing this whole, you know, mod as fast as possible. And, it, and as long as, uh, you know, you're high, high enough, like, I guess, level or, like, it's if the, the bosses and stuff are scaling to you, you should have no problem clearing it, like, really fast, especially if you're solo. Obviously, if you're in the squad, it will be, you know, much faster. You know, it also drops a lot of loot, so if you want to pick up this loot, you know, keep on doing this run a couple times, pick up the loot, go disenchant it for, like, a bunch of gear, you can. Um, but like I said, that's the first mob, and then... I'm going to see if there's a second mob in here just to show you guys that you can get a chance of getting two of these mobs. But as you can see, I'm at 307,000 XP right now. So if I find another mob, um, I'll show you how much XP I go up just from, you know, these mobs. And another thing that's cool about these dungeons is that you can get powers like this. That just lets you speed run it. But as you can see right here, there's another fucking mob right here of just people. Or elites, I mean. And I pretty much clear it insanely fast because I got this, you know, power. Um, but as you can see, you know, I get I cleared it and I went straight up to almost a hundred thousand by myself from where I was. I was at three hundred and seven. Now I'm at three hundred ninety nine thousand. So almost a hundred thousand XP just from that elite or mob right there. So basically, each mob you you get in these dungeons two is the max. I uh, most people just go for the first mob. That they see and then just back out the dungeon so what i mean by back out the dungeon is they leave the dungeon from here so make sure you leave the dungeon from here and the reason why is because it'll spawn you outside the dungeon and, and then the way that you're going to want to reset it if you're in solos um the way that you're going to want to reset it is by um you know leaving the game immediately like this not closing the game completely but just leaving the game and then you can instantly click on start game and keep in mind, the best time to do this is obviously if there's no queue times and stuff like that. Because obviously if you leave the game, you're going to have to go in a queue. But since the queue times are really not that bad right now, this is why it's very efficient. At least if you're doing it solo. If you're doing it in a group, it is much faster because you don't have to, you know, leave the game. You can just reset the lobby. Um, but yeah, as you can see, basically it's reset. And the way that you know that the dungeon is reset is if the do the first door that you open is closed. 
So that's how you know if it's reset because um, the first door that you open, you see right here, it says it's closed. So I have to interact with it and then I move on and then I can do this do this again and keep in mind I'm at 300 or I'm at 403,000 now because I killed a little bit extra stuff from there and keep in mind this is on world tier 3 you can do it on world tier 2 and world tier 1 and even world tier 4 uh, obviously the XP you know differential will be a little bit different but at least on world tier 3 you do get a lot if you consistently just do this um, but like I said you can just skip all these little mobs um, sometimes I like killing them especially when I'm solo I just do it but as you can see there's just a full room of just more elites. I just run through them right quick. Sometimes you'll get lucky with powers that are right next to them, which is why it's so good because especially if you get the powers, you'll be doing, you know, instead of doing it in three minutes, it'll be like a minute just because you got a power. Um, so sometimes that's cool. And like I said, usually people, they, they just do the first room and then they'll, and then they'll just back out. So. I'll do the first room right quick and then they'll go but as you can see i went straight up to 491,000. so you know pretty much the same amount of xp around 80,000 xp i got from that one um and like i said it's really fast and easy you just keep leaving the dungeon and if you're solo like i said you just reset it by instantly leaving the game not quitting the game leaving the game um you know you leave the game and then you just instantly click start game on your character again and it instantly resets this dungeon and you can keep on and keep on and keep on and you'll just keep on leveling up really 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 fast and if you're in a squad the way that you reset it it's really simple basically uh the person who's the party member or the party host whoever's a party host you have to switch the party host every single time that you do it to reset the dungeon and and that way you don't have to leave you know the game or nobody has to leave the game and i mean it makes it a little bit faster you know and then obviously it's really fast because you do get more xp being in a group um because every time you're in a party you get more xp and also um i don't think these consumables work if you leave the game like if you consistently leave the game you're just going to be wasting these consumables because i think they uh they go away if you leave the game so these are really good also because they give you five percent extra um you know when you're in a squad pretty much and stuff like that but yeah that's pretty much it um like i said i recommending recommend doing this now usually when i'm solo i always you know pick up the gear check the gear out you know to see if i'm like especially if i'm trying to like you know build out my my um my set or whatever and then um and then i'll go sell my gear or disenchant my gear depending on if i need you know materials or whatever and this is a great way to farm materials as well. You know, you can pretty much use this to your advantage for many things. Uh, you can get uniques from doing this. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty overpowered. And then once you get to a certain level where you can move on to the next tier, obviously the XP will increase all the way up until world tier four, of course, which is my goal right now. So that's why I'm going to keep on doing this and just farming it.